Fred at Eastgate Unity here. I'm super excited for this review about the Flux AT2. Now, if you guys saw my previous video, it was about the Cali NYC 40XL. Unfortunately, I didn't have the greatest experience there. So uh, I still wanted a uh, bigger boutique board in my arsenal. Even though it's not my preferred board, I prefer two-in-one uh, all-terrain boards. So the easy switch from, you know, six inch or seven inch pneumatic tires over the street, double kingpin. But this obviously is completely different. Uh, 3,500 watt motor motors uh, each. So the power is crazy. Uh, even though the Entra has sick power for that two-in-one type board, crazy range on that board for that size board. This is even better. This uh, this acceleration is way better. Top speed actually is about 30, 31 miles per hour, but I'm not a top speed guy. I'm all about the quality, the agility, the performance, and of course, customer service. Now, going on to customer service, Frederick is the CEO over there. Uh, big shout out to Frederick there. I had tons of questions. Um, you know, when you're spending this much money, uh, I'm sure you guys can relate. You're a little nervous. You're not sure what's what. Uh, you wanted some input on the board. He answered all my questions super fast on Instagram. If you guys have any questions, hit him up. You know, when it came to uh, the type of bushings it comes with and things like that, I had a bunch of questions. Um, I had questions about the battery. He sent over oh, this little service kit. So nice cards, all right, you have some extra bolts. Um, you also have extra belts, and then you have extra bushings. So unlike bushings on a, another board that we're familiar with, these are what their bushings look like, and these are the really soft ones, all right? The, uh, the medium ones I have on the board right now, they are orange ones, so that's more of a medium uh, feel on those. Here is the classic VX1 remote, which I actually like. It has a nice smooth feeling to it. Nothing special, nothing fancy. It has a nice logo there. I like it. Oh, I'm a goofy stance rider, so I put dope grip tape over here and dope grip tape over here. I didn't want to throw a crazy amount of dope grip tape on there. It's just not really my thing. Um, but who knows, maybe I'll do something different. But for now, this is good. The deck is beautiful. Um, I love belt drives. I'm not really too much into gear drive uh, if it comes to hub motors. I like hub motors on more of a kicktail board. Uh, it's easy to take on a plane and something like that, or you want to go to a local park and ride, you know, in the, and basically I bring the dog to the park, I'll bring something like this. You know, easy to maneuver, it's very sleek. Yeah, belt drive to me is my preference. Um, it's really easy to maintain and get in there and, you know, get a rock out of there, or maybe switch up the wheels or something like that. So what I really like about this board, other than the obvious that has crazy range and has crazy power, is that it didn't feel like the Cali. Um, yeah, it's bigger, so it doesn't feel like the two-in-one boards, but what's really awesome about this, the maneuverability and the deck. So the deck does have natural concave. Uh, the Cali, you know, it has a huge hump in the middle, which I just don't understand. I think that's more for bigger, heavier riders because when it has that giant hump in the middle, your stance is to be more wide. I don't have a wide stance at all. So not only am I a short guy, but you know, I like to have my feet a little bit closer together what normally people ride. That's just how I do it. Um, and there, again, there's a natural concave here with the Cali. They have like these little rivets that just kind of come up. Um, it's not like it's like a part of the board. It kind of, it's hard to explain, but they just have like these little pop-up things towards the edge rather than kind of blend into the board. So that's just why I personally don't like that deck. And I just feel it's, a, it's just more bulkier. Uh, their acceleration and the braking was not smooth at all, in my opinion. Uh, this is super smooth. Feels like all my other boards, you start hitting the throttle, it just starts going and it's super smooth. Um, the Cali, you know, I'd have to push the throttle and wait, 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 and then all of a sudden it just kind of goes. Same thing with braking. I would just pull back, pull back, pull back, and finally I kind of feel it. This, super smooth. No complaints whatsoever. Uh, the charging port. Right there, and it clips right in. Then you push this down. Come. This just covers back in, and it stays in, unlike other boards. Remember how it took me about 10 weeks to get the Cali NYC? I ordered this July 17th, and I got it eight days later to my home. That was Monday. This video I'm making right now is Thursday. It just feels good to actually make a purchase and everything goes smoothly, even better than smoothly, especially from a bad experience prior. Not for nothing, 
It's less money, way less money. Get the flux, guys. Thank you.